guys. I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to get right into this match. We have Miles versus Swigzy. So for those of you who don't know Swigzy, he is a player where he used to be really bad. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, Salty. Okay. Right. No, he used to be like some like random little Olimar who uh, was. I don't. I don't even know if he could get mad at me for saying that he used to be bad because the follow up to that is that he is one of the players who has leveled up the most in the Westchester region. He has an incredible amount of wins under his belt, and I think Utopian Ray is one of them, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But the thing is that he is a player that even the big hitters in this region have to be scared of, and Miles is one of those big hitters, and he is still has to be scared. He's playing from behind right now and playing behind against Olimar not where you want to be if oh, yeah, sure. definitely looks like he, he knows what he's doing so he's definitely not bad anymore man I'll tell you that much to, to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Miles I've seen I've seen Miles since he was like what 12 11 oh my god <laughs> this, this guy is picking some major ass right now okay yeah you see the blue Pikmin on deck Oh, no, that was so good right there. Showed the blue Pikmin, and then specifically cycled to the red one for the forward smash. Sort of conditioning Miles, making him scared of that particular option, and then punishing the other way around. And, oh, yeah, he's also he's also taking, uh, he's also noticing that Miles likes to come out aggressively, and he knew that Miles would have just dropped down fair, and that's how he just made him to get him to forward smash. A couple subtle things about this matchup. Damn. For one, if a Pikmin latches himself onto Yoshi's nose, it's actually really hard for him to get him off. The only move he can do is forward air, and that's, you know, I mean, forward air is a good move in neutral, but you don't want to be forced to do it. Maybe he's a good call. Good job picking up the stock with the down air right there, and also making sure not to fast fall it so that you've got the rising hit that can actually uh, kill Swigzy, although Swigzy could have smashed the item to survive in a, you know, task level world. <laughs> Miles seems to be closer the distance right now. He's, he is having trouble dealing with this Pikmin. Swigzy with another front <laughs> Oh, and an up smash at zero. Look at it, 46% in the blink of an eye. This, another thing about this matchup, Olimar. Look at him, he's so tiny in his games. I think he's like six centimeters tall. And it, when you're playing Yoshi, who can sometimes struggle to hit char shorter characters, it can feel like that. Ooh, what the triple up air. Miles hunting Swigzy right now. He needs to take the stock like ASAP. He cannot have more than like 80%. Or else he is in pain. He's down bad. Oh, oh he is down bad. Yeah, see, it was on his nose. He tried to up air it. Up airing, if the, Yoshi, if the Pikmin is on your nose, does not work. You have to forward air. And if there's a white there, you kind of have to do that. Because whites can rack up damage so quickly. That Understand. Be beautiful egg. Baited, baited him to use a jump immediately. So now he's, now he's like, all right, what he's going to do? He's going to upbeat. And at that point, capitalizing it. Miles is going into demon time right now. He is taking it in. Swigzy with the back air, not letting, not letting Miles play his game. Oh God, he's, he's looking for it. He's looking for it. Oh, the oh, Watch it. Watch the shield. Watch the shield. Okay, all right. Swigzy taking the first game against Miles. And I have, do you know if these, like I said, I've been away for uh, a year and a half. So... There's gonna, there's gonna, a lot of things are not familiar to me. So, has Swigzy beat Miles before? No. I am almost certain that Swigzy has never beaten Miles. And honestly, I think it would be his best win. He's gotten some good wins. I think it would probably be his best win mm. if he manages to take it over Miles right here. Miles seated second at this tournament today. Definitely lives up to that. We've seen him in grands for so many of these encores already. Uh, but Swigzy right now, making him look like he's a round three buster. Switchy Sw played that match kind of beautifully, to be honest. He just didn't. It, it, it kind of didn't seem like Miles knew what to do. Yoshi. He was having trouble dealing with the Pikmin. Uh, Swigzy kind of just like baited Miles to to to, to do. To, to I play definitely this game. think that Miles was picking the wrong time to try and punish. For one, there would be moments where he would hit him with a purple, and he would try to actually, you know, punish him. When oh, why does why, why is he at seventy-seven? It's been ten seconds, bro. He's it's been less than ten seconds. Now it's been ten seconds. He's at a hundred. You got to get rid of that white Pikmin. And but as soon as you do, I love the fact that Swigzy, after seeing that the white had landed, tried to capitalize immediately. Right over there again, you see he tries to go for the F tilt out of shield, despite the fact that the purple was the Pikmin he up smashed with. There is no way you're gonna be punishing. And Miles, uh, Miles is changing yeah. his plan just a little bit. He's actually just hitting him once, and kind of just waiting for him to waiting for Swigzy to do something, and then Miles is reacting to whatever he does. He's being a lot more patient with his punishment. He has to. He has to be. Oh, if that was if that was any other Pikmin, <laughs> that would have been his life. Fair. Once again, using those eggs off stage, trying to bait out an option. Miles is going deep. Is he gonna get it? 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Synchronized rolling and oh, this is so scary. But no blue. This is the sort of thing where if you see that Olimar does not have a blue Pikmin, he can't he can't throw. Yeah, he cannot kill you with the throw, but two purple. That's terrifying in its own right. Good option, just a shield and there. Alright, now Miles just Miles gonna die like with anything right now, so <laughs> at this yes. point, just 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 go for the extra credit. And if you can kind of just like you know cheese away his stuff, like, by all means. Yeah, and this is also the sort of position where I think. Oh my god. Did he just run up and get us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, oh, I will. Oh. Not like this, not like this. It's fine. Okay, thank god. Okay, good recognition seeing that the white had landed on his little butt. Little tush tush, so we went for the upper to get rid of it. Great usage of man to cover his. to, to uh, cover his landing. He is, he's taking it easy. Miles Ooh. is playing this game very, very differently. Than At the same time, we're still seeing some uncharacteristic mispunishes. Like you saw that, 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 that. My oh man! God. Armoring through that, that was massive. If he got his armor broken, the fact he was down so low, he would have died for sure. God, Swinty needs to pick him back. Such a quick reaction. Yeah. Miles going for a lot of these rising neutral airs on the stage and off, and that's gonna be a stock taken. He's pressuring him insanely. He did not do this last game, and this is and now he's forcing Swigzy to, to to do something off stage. He's like, I will eat you alive. It's it's not just pressure, it's safer pressure. Yeah. Last game he tried to pressure him, and he got back aired in the face for it. <laughs> this time around, you see the fact that oh Swigzy. Unfortunate ST, and we do see him kind of just like bend his head down. In yeah. a case like that, you know, when, when, you, when, you, when you see that happen to a player, uh, the, the mental, the mental fortitude is really, really like you have to, you have to, it has to be strong. You know? I will this also say, just went like that, and I'm like, all right, yo, keep your head in the game. It's game three. It's very winnable. It's, uh, oh yeah, absolutely. But like, keep in mind, he just won game one. That was a huge like stepping stone for him. And then game two started off with him getting 100 percent in the first 10 seconds. If you're Swiggy, you're like, oh my it. god, I'm gonna do, do this. I'm gonna do this. And then after, if you lose that game, after all that, that can start to shatter your mentality. And Miles is such an adaptive player that you cannot guarantee and rely on those things that had worked out for you in game one to carry you to an actual victory. That is true, but if Sweetie stays composed, he can see the light at the end. If he sees the light at the end of the tunnel, he can take his light. One adaptation that Sweetie is making right now, pay attention to the distance that he's like trying to keep himself at. In neutral, generally speaking, it's much further away than he was uh, in the last game, last two yeah, games. because he understands that Miles, Miles is hunting him. At this point, it is Tom and Jerry at this point. Oh, oh that was clean. Bud 127, and we do have a blue ticket on deck. Okay, I like. Oh, and you know these these combos for Yoshi, the fact that he has the extra hit lag uh, for connecting with the Pikmin can actually make some of this true stuff untrue. Swigzy cannot be scared to take, to, to kind of just, ooh, watch, watch, watch. I can't believe he actually, oh, because he didn't have a second Pikmin. He wasn't as no, he afraid to go for, you know, and uh, uh, the, the jab on the up, up smash. And, oh, my God, he is hunting for the up smash right now. Notice, <laughs> notice that Sweetie is actually not using, he, he's not calling anyone Pikmin. He wants to, <laughs> he wants, he wants to hit him with the strongest one there is. Yeah. Oh. But that bit him in the behind as Miles takes another stock. 167 right now. And you saw Sweetie was getting so many... In that game one, he got all these forward smashes just killing absurdly early. This time around, right. not the case. This is still manageable. If he gets an up smash at low percent here, that'll be 60% very game, easily. Game two, so. 10 seconds, he's already at 100%. So it is very, very possible. Switch just needs to keep ahead of the game. But Miles, no slouch. This dude is going to look to look to clean up. And now we have two purples here. That could be really good for Swigzy in terms of keeping Miles out. Oh, and possibly getting not the just yet. Okay, Swigzy for the beautiful options to run off of there. Okay, I lo love the spacing. Love the spacing. It is a, it is a much, more, much safer pressure. That purple, sorry, the blue rather, racking up some nice damage. At this point, I think up throw might kill if he manages to actually get the grab. 
<laughs> if salty. If. Yeah, no, Miles knows that. He is putting on all of this pressure. One hit with the purple should do it, or the grab. He, oh! Did he just Tim's the purple hit? <laughs> and that's one of the things we saw Miles do a lot of instant neutral airs, and that's one of the reasons for it. It's actually a decent answer to, that's it. Yeah, I mean, full, full wow. rage, full rage, fair to up air, you better do it. You know, when Miles wasn't dying to forward smash at like 90, he was living. 